15 key traits that entrepreneurs should cultivate. Stay tuned and we'll talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Your Digital Mindset, the channel devoted to you, the online entrepreneur, your mindset, and especially your online business. Okay, I came across this article the other day and I'll put a link to it below in the description. And I was like, you know, this is a great item. That's something else to keep in mind. I want to talk about this. Is when you come across interesting things, you know, through your day as a digital marketer, affiliate marketer, online entrepreneur, then you want to, most of these things are opportunities for content. Okay, whether you write a blog post or you put out a video like I'm doing right now, or even a podcast or any number of things. Uh, but these are great things to get you unstuck. Okay, so anyway, I came across this article. And I was like, this is a great thing to talk about with my followers because we're all if you're, if you're on my channel you're you're either an entrepreneur or you want to be an entrepreneur meaning you want to make money or you're making money okay and you want to know other ways to do it uh, that i hopefully share with you so today we're going to talk about some key some key traits that we should cultivate as entrepreneurs first one is at the link below it's newpreneur so basically for new entrepreneurs empathy empathy is an essential soft skill Empathy enables you to predict the effect your decisions and actions will have on others. That's so important. Without empathy, you can't build a team or raise future leaders. So true. Empathy is usually not the default operating mode for many, granted. Before you say, say or do anything, teach yourself to think of the people who will be affected and what impact your words and actions will have on them. So key. And then you got the, uh, the original uh, author or quote, the person giving the quote here in Acceptance, uh, this is a big one. Acceptance is a loaded term and also critical to becoming a better business person and leader. First, accept yourself fully, including acknowledging strengths and weaknesses, and then learn to accept others. Finally, accept situations. At no time has acceptance been more critical than the current climate of uncertainty, no doubt about it. However, the ability to accept will help you weather this storm. Persistence and passion have allowed me to knock down doors and achieve things that once seemed impossible. When you lose a bid, have an idea rejected, or otherwise stumble, don't let the negativity take over. Clients recognize confidence, and when you, when you keep that belief in yourself, they will inevitably feel that same confidence in your ability to, to deliver meaningful results. Oh man, so true. If you want to become exceptional at what you do, you have to learn to be disciplined. Set clear goals and propose a plan for how you'll go about achieving those goals. If those goals are not met, take the time to assess what you could do better next time. Many of the world's most successful entrepreneurs have a clear plan for their working day and they stick to it. I mean, I have a very structured day myself, so I definitely uh, believe in that one big time. Adaptability, no doubt about it. Effective leaders and entrepreneurs adapt to changing circumstances. As every startup founder knows, entrepreneurs wear many different hats as they build their business. Plans evolve in response to evolving markets. The to-do list you wrote this morning may be obsolete by lunch. An essential pivot may put your business on a different path. Rigidity leads to failure while adaptable, adaptable leaders thrive. I love that one. Six. As an entrepreneur, you may you may know what you're good at, but you but do you know what your weaknesses are? Oh. Being self-aware of them will help you reach out to the right people and resources to shore up those gaps. Check out resources on emotional intelligence for help and consider asking others to identify what they need help with. Kindness, and this is one that I've been preaching since I started this channel. People kind of look at me cross-eyed when I say this, because they're like, what does kindness have to do with business? Oh, so massive, so strong in everything we do. Trying to deliver everything with kindness is just, I mean, that needs to be your first goal when you wake up in the morning. I know it's mine. For years, it might not have been, but however, these last few years, especially since I've been, uh, I've had this channel and had my, my brand, Your Digital Mindset, I've definitely been delivering kindness as often, uh, hopefully all the time. When you're not delivering kindness, you can definitely recheck yourself. And you know when you're not doing it. It's time to reassess your situation. Why are you not being kind? And then just start over and say, okay, I'm gonna deliver kindness this point forward, okay? Listening so big. I remember my mom used to tell me, son, you have two ears and one mouth. Use them accordingly. So they had strong advice. Basically, listen more than you talk. Okay. And also I want to mention this as far as listening. If you if you think into the word, think about the word listen and the word silent. They have the same letter, just in different orders. Okay, so 
give, give that some thought, okay? Accountability. If you can't admit to your mistakes and shortcomings, then you aren't fit to be a leader. A leader is aware of his or her doings and isn't afraid to take accountability for their actions. It shows responsibility when a leader admits to faltering, which only makes them human. Showing this behavior also tells others that you don't place blame on others. Gratitude. There's right, right in there with kindness. Being, gra being grateful will not only make you a better leader and business person, but it will make you a better human being no matter what career you pursue in your life. Every morning, be grateful for everything you have accomplished and everything you have, even the people around you. Emotional intelligence has a lot of power and will also affect your success in the professional arena. Learning, and must be lifetime learners, people. I'm going to tell you a secret. Founders do not know everything. In fact, they are constantly having to learn new things as their business grows and faces, and faces new challenges. How this is done differs for everyone, but it is often a mix of trying and failing, reading and listening to others to gain perspective. Curiosity. Entrepreneurs must get curious about their industry, their solutions, and their competitors. Ask the question, why? as often as possible to help drive a deeper understanding of the business around you. This constant need to seek out new information is what will put you ahead of your industry and ensure you are always forward thinking. Time management. You wear different hats when you're an entrepreneur. This means that your tasks will be varied and spread out, managing your activities and staying on top of your many jobs needs organization. Use time blocking as a way to hyper-focus on specific activities during a given time period. That goes in line with the Pomodoro technique that I talked to you before, a 25 minute on, five minute break. I do a 40 minute on, eight minute break. But uh, either way, that goes right in line with the Pomodoro technique. You'll accomplish more, more and become a better leader overall. Accessibility, one of the best traits entrepreneurs can develop to become better leaders is to be accessible. When leaders hit a certain level, many stop being available to their teams. Big mistake. Though boundaries are important, leaders need to make sure they are still accessible to those they lead. And the ability to say no, holy mackerel, that a massive one. Knowing when to say no is an often overlooked skill that's actually critical to being a focused, responsible business leader. It's critical that not only are you able to say no, but that you also learn how to say it in a way that's not offensive or off-putting to others. It's one of the hardest, the most critical things an entrepreneur can do. Okay, so there you go, guys and gals. There's your nice list of things we need to cultivate. Let's breeze through them again. From the top, empathy, acceptance, persistence, discipline, adaptability, self-awareness, kindness, listening, accountability, gratitude, learning, curiosity, time management, accessibility, and the ability to say no. Okay. And if you need help with your business to help you get your business either out of first gear or taking it to the next level, we'd love to help you. We'd love to have you as part of our family at Your Digital Mindset. Click on the link below and join our family. If not, stay tuned for the next video. It's Chaz here with YourDigitalMindset.com and I definitely hope to see you on the inside. Thanks a lot.